Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel and welcome to the thick of the holiday season. I'm choosing this video to go out on Christmas Day for no other reason than a lot of people have today off. Whatever it is you celebrate at this time of year, whether it's Hanukkah, whether it's Kwanzaa, whether it is Christmas, whether it's merely the new year, and whether it's just that you simply got some damn time off. The fact of the matter is, this is considered a gathering time, so even if you're not observant in any of these traditions, you're definitely getting sucked up into this kind of backflow called the holidays. It's so tough because I, I'm actually going to take a slightly interesting different stance. Every year I kind of do the same video like blah, 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 the holidays are hard, blah, 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 narcissists ruin it, blah, 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 how to stay sane at the toxic holidays, la, 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 how to give gifts, okay? So this year I'm going to take a different stance and I'm going to sort of come at it from a very personal perspective because that's how I've always approached it. Holidays, toxic, holidays, bad, holidays, bad, bad, bad. And I shared this with my healing community as well. I've always taken that stance and I thought, okay, it's time to do what you're doing with your healing community and be honest with yourself. I kind of like elements of the holidays. I like the smell of pine trees. I like lights. Don't ask me why, I just do. I like the songs. I really like the songs. Um, I don't live in a snowy place, but I think there's something really quite beautiful and uniquely silent about a night when the snow falls. I like that kids get excited. Um, I like that there's a time when in a more organized way that we can actually support people around us. So we should be doing that all year round, whether it's toy drives or, you know, for me, I rent some office space and they were collecting stuff in the lobby. So it's like a pleasure to drop off diapers and baby food, like though I should be doing that all year round. There's something about it. There's something about the rushing to the end of the year. There's a permission we're giving ourselves to maybe slow down. I happen to like cookies. I like all the cookies you get, clearly. But I really do like, I had to finally say, mm, you kind of like it. So I had to look at the complicated relationship I have, and I had to wonder how many people have a similarly complicated relationship with the holidays, because something that might have very well felt special to them may have then been undermined by the toxic people in their lives. And that's exactly what happened to me. The very things I loved about it, it was people sort of placing dictates and how it should be and control and actually robbing what felt like actually the things I kind of liked, the tree, the ornaments. And I'm not, I'm not even, I wasn't even raised in a faith that's supposed to have a Christmas tree. Um, the whole nine yards, I'm like, okay, this year, can I actually authentically not roll my eyes at putting up a Christmas tree and putting up my silly ornaments, but actually do it with an open spirit, acknowledge that I enjoy it, recognize that not one toxic person around me is going to say, yay, love your tree, can we help? That the things I do at this time of year may or may not be recognized, but they feel good. Listen to that Christmas music without shame be really happy and greet people with it and be fully authentically in my presence of enjoying this time of year because I'm no longer trying to please the toxic or narcissistic people in my life. And it ended up becoming a really lovely balance this year. And what I meant by that, what I'm trying to say about all that is as this holiday season's going on, I'm also writing and finishing up this book. And one of the pieces I think is so important that we take back after we've experienced narcissistic abuse is joy. That's what got stolen from us. Our joy was shamed. Our joy wasn't permitted. There was very little joy happening around us. And especially if we grew up like this or ended up in relationships like this, our joy was greeted with contempt or cynicism. But this time of year, when it comes down to it, no matter how you observe it, it's actually supposed to be about joy and the new year about a fresh start. So I thought embracing joy is something I've talked about as an intervention, as it were, as a part of healing. So why not? Let the cynicism go and embrace the joy. Now, a tough part of the holidays for me is it's a very busy time of year for me. I'm often trying to get clients to where they need to be before a holiday or I'm, I'm just needing to get a lot done. So it's all, I've always, often was a professor scoring exams, whatever. It's a busy time of year. 
But this time I leaned into the joint. My house is a mess. There's gingerbread crumbs here and there. It's just kind of a mess. But it's okay. And as I did that, even though there's going to be a lot of sort of narcissistic hoop jumping during this holiday season for me, it bothered me less because I held space for me to have whatever joy I felt. And whether that is however you're setting up your home, a little Christmas tree in the corner of your desk, any other form of decoration you have, however you commemorate this time of year, do some of it only for yourself. My damn Christmas tree this year is for me. It's festooned with silly pictures and things I've picked up around the world. And once a year, for one month, it becomes a silly little museum of my life, of nonsense I've picked up here and there. And that each time I walk by it, me and my cat enjoy it. That's all I need. But once I came to that shift, it was the first time that this year didn't become a pit in my stomach, but rather let me know there's going to be hassles. But part of this was just for me. So in this holiday season, I do hope whatever it looks like, a pretty decoration, a pretty song, something poignant you hear someone did, or even you donating a gift or a toy to somebody who may not have as much this year. Figure out what that joy looks like for you. Do not let the toxic relationships in your life be the things that take away that joy for, from you. And in a time of year that's supposed to be about joy, take some of that back. Get out of the shadow of how narcissistic people can kind of overtake this time of year and create some corner of this so-called festive season and make it something special for yourself. And in that way, every single day, we can take back a part and a piece of ourselves back from the tyranny of these difficult relationships and take ownership of things that give us joy and give ourselves permission to notice them. Even if it's just fleeting, you can have some of this holiday season back. So from my heart to you and my silly Christmas tree, I wish you the happiest of holidays and hope you're able to find some peace in the midst of it. Thank you again for making this a really good year. Thank you again for all of the comments, for all of the things you've done to not only promote your healing and the healing of others. Happy, happy holidays.